Hello everybody. This video is a continuation of my last video where we talked about um, custom tabs available in Salesforce and different types of custom tabs and I told you that um, we're going to be back with um, a video where I can show you how to add uh, tabs to your apps. So if we have noticed uh, we always get a screen after we create a tab where it asks you to add those tabs in certain apps but not all the time you are decided or sometimes you are not you have not decided yet which app should the tabs go to in that case we just let's say you create your tabs first and then you want to add it to your app later on right so from your setup type in app and then go to the app manager this will bring you to the lightning experience app manager page here we can see all our apps listed whether it is lightning classic connected any kind of apps so let's go to the classic first because they both are going to look different so I don't want you to confuse when they do look different because if you come to a classic um, edit app manager it will look something like this all right um, you have this is what we want to focus on today choose the tabs so in the last video we created a tab called uh, Google I think yeah so you just add it like this for that particular tab and uh, this is just for the visibility of the app, app itself assigned to profile showing lightning experience if you want to and the default landing tab so once they are in that app which tab should be default landing tab that's what you select here and you also have a little checkbox overwrite users personal custom app customizations what that means is um, in Salesforce classic and I think with spring 18 even Salesforce lightning lets you do that um, it need, it lets you reorder rearrange the tabs um, so this setting if you check this off it will override the personal custom app customizations what the users have done so this is um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you every users have their own preference and they would like to see it that way but if you're on override this is the checkbox you're looking for and then we save it that's the classic customizer for for an app let's go to the lightning one so when you go to a lightning so this is a lightning sales app it is just a regular lightning sales app it is not a console app let me click on that button not sure we we'll refresh this for a second all right having some difficulties here but once you load it again let's go to the lightning sales and this edit button so edit app so this one is quite different than what we just saw on classic app option utility bar select items assigned to user profiles the main thing we're cons looking is how to add the tabs right but let's just see this along the way you can add image whatever you want the image which will be showing on the app itself you can choose colors if you want and the names can be modified here that's a regular app edit and it is a standard navigation these are by default or that is how we created an app which is why it's standard navigation this is not editable at all utility bar you are able to add utility bar which is like something like this at the bottom very similar to service console if you have seen it but um, we'll do it some other day select items and just gives you a warning let's just say show or confirm select items this is what we are looking at, at in this video so these are the different tabs and these are the different tabs available which you can add in the last video we created a tab called test tab if you have noticed in the classic app you didn't see this tab option because this tab was created using lightning app page so this tab cannot be added to a classic app 
Does that make sense? So a lightning tab can only be added to a lightning app. All right. So let's just add this one right here anywhere. And then you can also drag and drop the order. Oh, no, actually it doesn't let you drag and drop from here. If you want to drag and drop, we can go back to the tab itself and drag and drop there. And you can also assign to user profiles. Okay, so every time you make some changes, you need to save it right there. Otherwise it won't. So when you go to next tab, you are supposed to save it every time. And then this is just a general um, app functionality, giving, um, giving them access to the app itself. That we are not looking into today, so let's just click done. And that's how we add a tab to an app. That's pretty much it. Um, since we are talking about tabs, I also would like to show you something very basic, um, but confusing. I know when I started, I was confused. But so in a tab, when you go to actually profile level and try to set up the tab visibility, you will see different options. Those are default on, default off, and tab hidden. All right, so what does those options mean? Let's look into it. Default on means when you are on a on an app, let's say there's a sales app, right? Let's go to the sales app. This is a sales app and home opportunities, leads, tasks, files, accounts, contacts. These all are available right on the app page, meaning these all are default on, okay? That's what default on means. Default off means the tabs will be visible to the users, but they won't see it right here. In order to see the tab, they'll have to click this little tic-tac-toe um, button or hamburger. Um, you click on there and then here they see those tabs if it is default off. So it's, it's going to be here. And if it is hidden, as the name says, hidden, it will be hidden and they cannot access that app. Um, they cannot access that tab from anywhere. So that's the three different criteria you need to be aware of. And it is very similar in Classic too. In Classic, if I go to a Classic, there's a plus tab instead of those uh, that little icon, uh, app launcher, there's a plus tab. Default off means those tabs will be available here. Default on means it will be available in that app. But for, for a tab to be available in the app, it here, first it needs to be added to the app. So step one is add to the app, and then step two is decide if you want them to see it on the app, or do you want to see them on all tabs? That's how, that's what these three um, pick lists denote, okay? So that's, that's all for today. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions or any confusion um, in this area. I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching.